Hey, happy campers. Todd here at Great American RV Superstores. Today, we want to talk about one of your most important things as far as maintenance on your roof and often the most neglected things uh, on your entire camper. It's the roof. Many customers don't clean it, don't know how to clean it, seal it, keep up with those things. So we're going to touch base today on all of the information you need to know that pertains to your roof. So let's get to it. So when we talk about issues with our roof, the most common issue is lack of maintenance. Now every customer says, hey, I take care of my unit, I look at my unit, I understand, but do you crawl up on your roof and physically inspect every bit of sealant on top of your roof? Well, this case right here, this is what your roof might look like if you have it. Uh, so you wanna get up every 90 days, you wanna get up on your roof, that's what the manufacturer says. Every 90 days, nine zero, get up on your roof and take a look at your sealant. You're looking for any cracks, holes, peeling, anything like that that comes along this front termination strip, any one of your vents, your skylight, your ladder, anywhere where you see sealant, you wanna take a close look at that. Now in this case, it's pretty dirty, so what I recommend is doing a rubber roof cleaning on your roof probably at least once a year and get any dirt and debris off of it. There's products uh, called rubber roof cleaner and a UV treatment that you can get from any RV retailer. And you get up here and you, you take the roof cleaner, just sling it out and take a, a mild brush and nothing too aggressive and brush it with soap and water, rinse it all off and then go back with that UV treatment and spray it on. And this helps your roof last a lot longer. But getting back to the sealant in areas of concern is corners around the, the front cap and rear cap. If you have an older style bat wing antenna, you wanna pay attention to this coax cable area right here. It can often open up. Any screw heads, if you can start to see the screw heads, you need to put a dot of sealant on top of it. Moving back down the line, we have our skylights <clears throat> right here, our vent. Uh, you also want to check your vents and your skylights for brittleness. If your vent is starting to dry rot, then it's time to change. You can replace just the vent. Skylight, same thing. If you're starting to see some cracks and stuff in these corners, then it's time to change it. Uh, you got plumbing vents, those as well can get brittle. It's all plastic, those type of things. Uh, down here in the Louisiana heat anyway, they start to get brittle, they crack, and they form openings for water intrusion. Uh, same thing here, we have sealing around these vents here. Around your ladder in the back, you have sealing around where it's screwed into the roof. We can see the screw heads right here in these and like I said, anytime you can tell what kind of screw head it is, it's time to seal over it. We're also seeing a lot of cracking in that sealant as well, and it doesn't take much of a crack for water to start to seep in there. Uh, right here, we have our back termination molding. Same thing in the corner, corners right here, we start to see a lot of cracking. We start to see it pulling away because of the flex of the unit, and that metal kind of start, it's not as, as pliable as we'd like it to be, uh, so we'll start to see some openings. So you can see here, they've already spot sealed in some of these areas. All in all, this roof is, is probably one of the top ones that I've seen as far as, as lack of maintenance. Really probably has never been cleaned. So I, I hope your roof in this way and I hope it never gets this way. So from watching this video, I want you to learn how to wash it, treat it. And the other big thing is seal it or spot seal it. So I'm gonna give you a little demo of that right here on this skylight. We've already prepped a little area right here and cleaned it beforehand, uh, but all you need is a little bit of Dawn soap, some mild detergent, spray it on there, kind of a coarse rag, especially if it's this bad and in, in, in how dirty it is. But if you stay on top of it, it won't get that dirty. So just clean it up fairly decently, remove any debris, especially around these edges right here. And then you wanna let it dry. You don't want any moisture in that area uh, whenever you go to seal it. So like I said, this area is already prepped. We can see here, this is actually the edge of the skylight that's actually kind of started to crack up through this. We can also see some screw heads right here and right here, all these cracks in the sealant. This is the edge of the, the skylight right there. So all this should be covered 
And I promise you, you may think every 90 days is too much, but going down the road and as much as these flex and move, new little objects like that can pop up all the time. So if we're going over all the old sealant, it's a simple method like you're icing a cake, okay? You just go left to right and you cover that whole area, all right? And you can put more than what is on there before. There's nothing wrong with that. Gives you a little piece of extra, a little bit of extra peace of mind. So as simple as that, and that'll cover that area. So what we're using today is the Dicor lap sealant. It's a self-leveling. So as you can see, we have some little edges right here where we're still showing. This sealant will eventually start to lay down and, and flatten out. That's why they call it self-leveling. So that's how we would reseal over. If we were just doing a spot seal over these screw heads or something like that, just small little areas like this, we're just gonna take, put a little dot on it, and boom, we can move on to the next one. So you don't have to use an, an entire 24 pack of sealant in order to cover these little small areas. Another important area to look at on your roof is where the side rails meet your rubber. Uh, you can see we have a little ledge. It's hard to see under all this debris, but you also want to go ahead and clean that whenever you clean your roof and take a good look at your ceiling on there and see if any of it is peeling or starting to come off. Uh, because behind this gutter rail right here is screws. And if water starts to get in there, it's gonna follow where the screws are and it's gonna go straight into your wall and it's gonna cause some problems. So if you ever do have to reseal around that area, you're gonna use a similar product like this, but it's gonna be a non-self leveling. So it's gonna, it's, not, it's gonna form pretty much the way you put it out, kind of like silicone, it's not gonna settle. It'll stay in that, that uh, pretty much in the mold that you put it down on. So one last thing you wanna check on your roof whenever you're up here, especially around your edges and stuff, is uh, any scratch marks or anything like that, any rubber that's actually scarred, scrapes, tears, anywhere in your rubber. Uh, it's from a low-lying uh, tree, could have been from a storm, anything of that nature. Oftentimes you don't even realize that you passed under a tree that was that low. So check, it, check that after every trip you make because if it turns out to start getting rotten later on, insurance may not cover the rot portion of it because it's been neglected at that point. They'll cover the replacement of the roof, but the rot they won't, it becomes very costly. So today we cover, like I said, the most important thing you can take care of on your camper and that's your roof. Make sure you clean it, you seal it, you check it, do all those great things to it because this is the most important thing that you can take care of on the whole unit. And if you don't, it becomes very costly and is often the, the end of life for many campers if it's not taken care of. So please make sure you watch this video over and over again and check your roof every 90 days. So thanks for watching. Click, like, subscribe, share the video. Whatever you do, let everybody know how awesome it is here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you.